Let's look at Addison's disease and Cushing's syndrome. We will look at each of these diseases as well as their core differences. Now we can review the signs and symptoms of each condition. Patients with Addison's disease, which is also called adrenal insufficiency, may present with fatigue and lethargy. Vitiligo, which is white areas or patchy depigmentation of the skin. You can also see hyperpigmentation of the skin commonly on the hands. Decreased concentration and depression. Hypotension or low blood pressure. Weight loss. Salt cravings and muscle weakness. With Cushing syndrome, we see a different set of presenting symptoms such as hirsutism, which is abnormal hair growth on the face or body for females, a buffalo hump, which is fat in the neck and supraclavicular area, sensitive thin skin, which easily bruises, a moon face, hypervolemia and hypertension, Truncal obesity with thin extremities, purple striae or stretch marks, muscle wasting, and osteoporosis. Now let's compare side-by-side -side Addison's and Cushing's. Some findings for patients with Addison's disease is hypotension, hypovolemia, weight loss, hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, and hyperkalemia. A memory trick for remembering these findings is that Addison's think arrows down. The only exception to this is hyperkalemia. A memory trick to remember Cushing's disease is Cushing is pushing levels up. So we're going to see hypertension, hypervolemia, truncal obesity, hyperglycemia, hypernatremia, and the outlier here is hypokalemia.